Well, the storms took the CTA yellow line out of service early this morning. Crews had to move debris and branches from the tracks west of Ridge. That meant riders skipped the train and instead boarded buses to get to the Howard Station to hop on the red or purple lines. All trains are now back up and running. But that was not the only issue for people in the northern suburbs. Marissa Perlman joins us live now from Northbrook, where fallen trees blocked one homeowner from being able to leave this morning. Marissa, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Great to be with you. Yeah, Richard Green just happy this morning that no one was hurt and there is no damage to his property. Check this out. This huge branch came down right on his driveway, blocking him in from getting out. Crews have been out here uh, for the past hour or so cleaning off that branch, getting it off of his property. He says he heard a loud noise last night and knew it was the tree on his front lawn. The noise from the rain and the thunder and lightning was so strong that when the tree came down, it was just like a snap. Now we are right across from Meadow Hill Park where the, the village is here cleaning up more debris. They brought out a stump and tree grinder to the neighborhood and put that to good use this morning. We know more than 20,000 ComEd uh, customers are without power this morning. The majority of the outages are here in Cook County with about 15,000 people waking up in the dark. Power is back on, thankfully, this morning here in Northbrook. Now that heat and those strong thunderstorms came through knocking down power lines here. But ComEd says they hope to restore about 80% of those outages by this evening. Now again, as we mentioned, uh, we are right across from Meadow Hill Park here. The high wind blew over a white tent set up near the basketball courts uh, here in the park. We have some crews right across the way here working to get that cleaned up um, and back up and running. Now for Richard Green, he says he's again just feeling lucky this morning. His power is back on. There's no damage to his property and he and his dog are safe and sound. For now, we're live in Northbrook. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS News Chicago. Back to you guys. Glad to hear that, Marissa. Thanks so much.